Day 48. In all the excitement that we've been through lately, I have fallen behind in my journal entries. So, I'm going to pass by all the boring stuff and summarize. Varen, Thea, and I were cursed by a hobgoblin sorcerer. Now, when we come close to water, stone, and air combined, we are attacked by several elemental monsters. Enna and Antinua came to our aid and shared with us information about an artifact that could possibly protect our village. So we set out to find this artifact. We've gone through twists and turns, up and down shafts, and even found new weapons and armor. But once we found the artifact, Varen was given a new deadly curse, Mummy Rot. Once we got out, we made our way to the totem pole, believing it was our only chance to heal the curse on us. We came across some gnolls who had a young girl in their midst, possibly trying to escape them. When we defeated the gnolls, we couldn't find the girl. Strange how I saw her there, then she was gone as if she had never been. Even Varen couldn't find her. Later that night, all three of us had the same dream. The young girl I had seen approach each of us and touched our heads, then gleefully skipped off into the night. When morning came, we found we'd each been given a charm of restoration, which helped remove Bia's and my curses and helped Varen remove his mummy rot. Unfortunately, he did not have enough power to remove the elemental curse, so we will have to be on guard with Varen and the surroundings. We have one more day of traveling, an artifact we don't know how to use, and an irritating undead entity that's obsessed with Thea, and a long, strange incantation to translate. Even worse than that, <laughs> I'm running out of ink. Welcome back to the Land of the Hunter. Due to, well, user error, I somehow lost all of the recording for me as the Dungeon Master and Varen. I kept Adrian and Thea's audio and I will attempt to fill in the blanks as best as I can and I appreciate your tolerance and your patience. And I hope you enjoy this episode, despite the, well, clumsiness. For this day in traveling, day 49 of our adventuring, the weather is a normal 50 degree temperature for the time of year. There is no wind and there is no precipitation. Adrian has to spend 10 minutes to put on his armor and in the meantime Varen and Thea simply do their best to assist while also just enjoying the weather. As part of all this uh, Adrian is presented the option to travel with his shield or without it as he so chooses. Hang on, I'm still taking the 10 minutes to put my armor on. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, I will be um, taking my shield with me. And not just my back. That is perhaps a very wise choice. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll move to our traveling map.
we are very close to the camp of staked enemies where Varen uh, took the eye of the Cyclops that had been intended as a trap for us. And Varen is also still wearing said eye. We're also not terribly far away from where we spot we dealt with the third invasive force of the hobgoblins yep. uh, from which we also started from to go get the artifact now as everyone is getting ready to go Varen happens to spend some moments looking in the direction of the camp thank you thanks to the clear weather Varen is able to mention to the others that he sees a flock of birds swooping up and down over the camp of the recently deceased hobgoblins. What kind of birds do you see? Well, I'm not really sure. I can't see them all that well. Uh, Thea and Adrian, uh, you both can look through your spyglasses. I'm going to look through my spyglass. Okay, yeah. Good call. Both of you can give me perception checks, please. Thank you, Thea. Thank you, Adrian. Good rolls, both of you. Hey, I made sure my lens were nice and clean. Baron looks slightly wounded. I didn't mean to mess him up. Uh, looking through the spy glasses, you do indeed see that there are carrion birds picking at the various bodies of hobgoblins. Adrian, if you would please give me a history check with advantage. Excellent roll. Thank you. In the distance, as you watch these birds swooping up and down, it occurs to you that Antinua normally burns the bodies of our enemies and slain foes, rather than let them become victim to such undignified ends as carrion and rot and possible no. dead. Are you saying something happened over there? You see the bodies, you know what Antenua tends to do. Is something about that strike you as strange, Adrian? Yeah, I need to go check out that site. Uh, why is that? Pipes up Varen. Yeah, but Antinoa usually burns the bodies to the point where there wouldn't be attracting any birds. Oh. They were with us. They, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe we should go see what's going on. I've got two more minutes, man. <laughs> Adrian, you struggle through the last two minutes, strapping on your armor. It's rather intricate and confusing, but quite useful. Mm, excuse me. Anything else that the two of you want to do before we head out? So we will set out using Natural Explorer. We spend half the day. And I'm not entirely sure where exactly we were supposed to go. 
because I don't remember exactly where the enemy camp was. And and if it's wrong, we can retcon it. Yes, we can definitely retcon it. We reach the site, the bodies are desiccated, um, torn apart, weather savaged. Right. Uh, it's clear that various animals have been at the bodies. None of them are cared for or buried or um, burned away. There is no sign of Enna and Antinua being present. Simply the bodies, the birds. The lake seems a little clearer than the last time we visited. Like, not at all. No sign of them at all. No. So why would she not burn any of the bodies here? Well, Farron will... ...to a survival check try and pick out some tracks but it seems like he's having a bit of a hard time finding anything Adrian can you please give me an intelligence that, check mm, it rained yesterday it, yes it did indeed rain but that also softened up the earth so it, there is potential for tracks Okay. Uh, Adrian, please give me an investigation, or sorry, an intelligence check. I keep forgetting I don't have an intelligence check. Unless I go to intelligence. <laughs> like this one. Right. That's not very good. But you can I give me. I told you I'm not that intelligent. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, you can give me another intelligence check. All right. This time I'm using both hands and pressing hard against my temples. <laughs> okay. Wow, that seems oh, so that's that's uh, You get a flash of inspiration. Ooh, I felt a flash of a clarity. <laughs> If there was danger, if there was threat, then it's likely that Enna and Tinua would have made quickly and immediately for our rendezvous spot at the totem pole. Well, let's hope that they're there because I'm going to have to ask them some questions. Okay, and Varen's going to do another survival check with advantage to see if he can pick up their trail. Not quite what he was looking for. As we start moving along the way towards the totem pole as the most likely destination, Varen continues to search along the ground for any sign of their presence or their passage. Uh, doing another survival check. Uh, normal. Ooh, and a nat 20. Whoa. Uh, Varen slips through some mud, nearly falling on his face in a creek, and at the last moment hops over it and lands, spotting as he does so some tracks. Did you have to go that far wow. to get tracks? That was very dramatic. Well, I found them, didn't I? Yep. Uh,. Varen does indeed find the tracks of two medium-sized creatures moving northeast <clears throat> towards the totem pole. Yeah. That's have more reason to find them.
so we are going to set out yes. along the way. Heading along the trail towards the totem pole of the two girls, Anna and Antenua. As time passes and after an hour of traveling, Varen's able to share that roughly five days ago, these, <laughs> these two medium-sized creatures moved out in this direction at a run. Okay. I better not roll a one. Okay. Well, that wasn't a one. Uh, Agent, as you navigate us, Varen is going to take the time following the trail to also cast Locate Animals or Plants to look for Silvataf, as, as you requested. As we move along, Varen's head snake twitches to one side, and he, almost as though he's being pulled, leads us slightly away from the trail the two girls left, and within a few moments, brings us to a halt at a small batch of Silvataf. Having found the plants, uh, we can do some survival checks. to see how many we can forage. <clears throat> I think I have it on my bio. Uh, actually, no. I have no idea what it does. Those are some successful checks for, for foraging. Uh, Thea, what is your wisdom modifier? It's a one. All right. Roll me a d6 plus one, please. <coughs> Excuse you. And Varen will also roll d6 plus his wisdom modifier, which I almost put in as yours. d6 plus 3. Thea, you find seven samples of Silvataf. Uh, because of Natural Explorer, Varen finds oh, wow. double that, which is six, yes, 16 samples of Silvataf. Um, I would love either five, five or six, if that's all right. Well, we have 23 samples of them. All right. Thirteen it is. Adrian, you'll take 13. And, we'll, and we will split, well, Varen will take the other 10 since Thea can't not cast spells. Uh, Varen's going to go ahead and cast Locate Animals or Plants again to see if we can find some healing plants. And having done that, Baron's going to get up and move on to the next spot. More or less about a mile or so along the trail, slightly off to one side. Uh, Thea, please roll a survival check, or anyone who wants to can as well. Okay, that's two good survival checks. Yeah. Adrian, do you want to as well? Yeah. 
Uh, that is not a success. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> You're just kind of standing there looking, oh, look, plants! While Thea and Varen dig down and start rooting through. Uh, Thea, please roll me a d6 plus one. Okay, you find five samples. I find six, which gets doubled for 12. So that is 17 samples total of... Oh, I don't have it. Okay. I'll just add it here. Okay. 12 samples of hack and leaf. And Thea, you can have the rest. Yep. All right. And now Varen will simply search for, since I don't want to spend more of my magic than I wow. have to. That is a wonderful survival check. Uh, Varen definitely finds <clears throat> the next sample of plants which I will find here in a moment. One D six coming up. Adrian, please roll me 1d6. Thank you, sir. One. Hey, hey. I can add more to my collection. <laughs> and Var Adrian, Varen finds 16 samples. <laughs> of mudworm roots. Well, question is, is who wants them? They are basically a 2d4 plus 2 uh, health point. Yeah? Yep. I have four of them in my inventory, so... Well, they also don't yeah. require any preparation. Uh, I yeah, will tell well, also... Uh, how many do we have in total? 16. Um, uh, 16. I will take 6. Thea, did you want to split the rest? Okay, doc. And they are still as slimy and disgusting looking as always. Slimy yet satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> been waiting for someone to make that joke. Alright, and I'm going to look for one more thing as we set out. That's another good survival check. Of Dalek Beans. Uh, that gets doubled to ten. Uh, ten Dalek Beans. I still have eighteen. Thea, how many do you have? Yeah, I have 12 of them. And you said you got 10? Yes, how many 10. does uh, Varen have in his inventory? Um, 3 of 10. Adrian, you said you had ha how many? I have 18. So, why don't you just take all of them, Varen? That way you, it puts you closer to what we have. Because like, I have 12... Adrian has 18, and you have right. three, so that'll give you 13. Yeah. I don't mind that. Thank you. All right. Now, we're not terribly far off from the total uh, pool. Whoa. Yes. And you wanted us mm -hmm. to look for one other thing. Wool. So... That comes from sheep, which are beasts, and one of my favorite enemies, which means I have advantage on tracking them. Uh, that's a success. 
Varen finds Varen finds sheep trails, some of the, which are heading to the east, some to the south, a couple to the west, uh, a few to the north, but most of them are pretty old, as well as heading in the wrong direction. Uh, I would probably say let's just continue heading north. We can worry about that later. Very well. Now we have traveled our full distance for the day. The totem pole is not terribly far off, about two hours. If you're willing, we can try and push for it and reach and try and reach it this evening, but that will require two constitution saving throws from each of us at the risk of levels of exhaustion. Yeah. What is your what is your decision in that regard, sir? Uh, I will gladly take the constitution checks. All right. In that case, Adrian, please we'll go one at a time. Please give me one constitution saving throw, sir, whenever you're ready. All right. Oh, come on. Issues. Here's one. Normal. Uh, that is one and success. And my second. All right. That is a fail and a level of exhaustion unless you want to use Indomitable. Indomitable. Use it. All right. Now I'm going to try another Constitution saving throw. Hey, hey. That is a success. You power on through to reach the totem pole, sir. And Thea, that is a fail. You take one level of exhaustion. Uh, please give me another constitution saving throw. That is two failures for two levels of exhaustion. Uh, your speed is halved, and you make ability checks with disadvantage. Now for Varen, two constitution saving throws. There you are. Oh, and I left it on advantage. My bad. Uh, that two is a fail, which means I have disadvantage on ability checks. Here comes my second. Uh, nat one, I now also have my speed halved. We do make it to the totem pole, but Varen and Thea are limping and basically leaning on each other for support. <laughs> Indeed. We have reached a nice, safe resting place. Uh, I have disadvantage. Varen is going to check the trail. Wow. With disadvantage. Um... Baron exhaustedly looks down at the ground. This is odd. The trail goes around the totem pole. They never went to it. They came close and just went around it. Why around? Uh, I have no understanding of this. I mean, I suppose maybe they might have missed it? Why? Did they not know where the totem pole was? Did you see if they were being chased or not with the, the tracks? Because you said that they were running. Uh, Varen will look again, try and discern any sign. Uh, 
Uh, survival at disadvantage, thanks to exhaustion. Varen's head kind of slumps towards his chest, and it, he actually kind of just limply sits where he's looking. I can't find anything. And we know that we've also been plagued by flying creatures, so it's possible that... That's true. Lots yeah, exactly. of them. Uh, Adrian, did you want to spend some magic to try and see if, by activating the totem pole, we can um, uh, uh, recover and heal and maybe even get rid of our curse? It'll take one first level spell slot for you, sir. We could do that. Because I don't okay. think we can find them with the way we are currently. No. Fair. Uh, Varen will spend all of his first level spell slots, a second level spell slot, and a first level spell slot from you, sir. One spell slot used. Excellent. The totem pole releases its aura of restitution. Will be stained. It'll for take twenty four hours. hours for us to for us to take and get the full benefits. That's a long time to wait. We're staying for the full twenty four hours because I want you completely cure of any curses. Then that does not put us in a really tight jam. Well, and well, and what we could do is I could scout out a, a bit also. And you're also uh, dealing with one level of exhaustion too, just so be aware. Mm -hmm. uh, two levels. Uh, Varen is going to cast non-detection. Do I also have one of those um, things that I used earlier, with, uh, which was the uh, the flying eyes? Uh, the potion of flying eyes. Uh, do you mean the potion of clairvoyance? There we go. I believe we have some. Can you check your inventory? I do not. Uh, Thea, how about you? Uh, I don't think I wrote it down. I th I thought that uh, I thought Adrian had grabbed them all. Um, I will say that we probably have two remaining, um, but they only have a range of about uh, one yes, mile. And oh, it does. Yes, a range of one mile. Alright, so... Uh, if it has one mile, and it's been about five days or so... No, Probably not less than useful there. right now. Uh, nuts. Alright, so we settle in for a long rest. Uh, Adrian, it takes you five minutes to remove your armor. Uh, I imagine that Thea and Varen tried to help, but in their exhausted state, it's little more than inconvenience rather than assistance. Uh, it, Varen cast non-detection, and we settle in for a long rest. Um, when we get up the next morning, and there's, I remember to remove my diamond dust, we find that exhaustion has gone I away completely. I have diamond dust. Yes, one pinch indeed. One pinch, two pinch, three pinch. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, Thea, please remember to take away both levels of exhaustion. And... We greet 
The new day. Ten minutes, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so it does take you ten minutes to put your armor back on. Hmm. Did anyone want to have ma be making potions? I I don't know that Thea should be making potions, considering she'd have to have done it at disadvantage at night. Uh, the check is only if you want to make extra from your ingredients. Eh, that's fair. I guess she could just try not to make extra. True. I think I am too. How about you, Adrian? I'm doing good on hack and leaf. So why don't we just... I have 10 hack and leaf I brews. I can take a total of 13. But I'm fine. I haven't needed to use any for a very long time. Okay, why don't we just hold off? Although, I will take a, right. a derelict bean, so then I can have 10 temporary hit points. Fair enough. I know, just in case. We don't seem to be leaving the area or dealing with any threats. Uh, Varen will take some of this time to go ahead and refill his sling bullets with rocks from the local area. Uh, let's mark down our ra oh wait oh we don't need to mark down our rations because Varen has uh, the you wanderer feature from his background where he can provide food and fresh water for himself and up to five other people each day. Baron wants to know if you're sure that you want to wait the full 24 hours. Well, we could stay here longer, or, or you can, and I can scout and come back. We could. Baron, uh, we could probably more than likely catch up with you before long. <clears throat> but Baron really wants to find the two girls. And um, how much shorter would our, our journey be if we didn't have to worry about skirting around stuff like that? Um, well, we haven't noticed a significant slowdown so far. It's mostly an inconvenience rather than a slowdown. Yeah, that's true. Okay, whatever you guys think is best. Uh, Varen is going to do an insight check. There it is. Varen will turn to Adrian. I know it's a bit of a risk, but I'd feel better about making sure they're all right, and I'm willing to accept the risks involved. Besides, we can always come back. Let's roll out. All right. Uh, the day is another mildly temperature degree, 50 degrees. There is a strong southwesterly yeah, wind. Yeah, I was kind of working on no that rain. while you guys were healing. Uh, Adrian, you put it on your armor, which took 10 minutes, and you can give me an intelligence investigation check to try and figure out the uh, language. Uh, that's I am no one. closer to actually figuring out this thing. You know what? I think this has just been a really long day. Let me just put it all away. And let's go find Anna and Antinua. That sounds like a plan to me. You can give me a history check. You know, I failed at history. That's not enough. You did indeed fail at history, sir. <clears throat> what was that? They are. <laughs> Is 
Varen and Thea try and strap your armor back on. Ow, that hurts. Oh, you pinched my skin. Oh, calm down, you big baby. You're not a baby. You're... <laughs> I have no opinion. Thea takes the uh, wiser course of diplomacy. Uh, as I was mentioning, the day is a normal temperature of 50 degrees. There is a strong wind to the southwest, which means disadvantage on hearing, uh, disadvantage on ranged weapon attacks, and we cannot maintain any open lit fires. With that all said... Uh, it also means that we probably won't be plagued by any flying creatures, as they cannot fly that well in strong winds. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone's displeased by that. Yes. Let's get tracking. Very well. Varen will set out to track. <clears throat> uh, it takes Varen about an hour, but he does manage to pick up the tracks. And they are still heading to the northeast. About half the day through the journey, Varen happens to spot right. something on the ground. I just hope they're all right. And with a 29, Varen picks up sh the trail of sheep. Yes, he did. The trail leads... The trail of the girls that we're following, but not terribly too far away. If it's close by, let's try it. All right. In that case, I'll move us to the spot and <clears throat> I will move us. <sighs> I really want to change one of my cantrips to. Uh... Something that could be a little more useful. Uh, on that note, sir, uh, I did some research, and once chosen cantrips are basically permanent. Could be something minor, but... Yes, indeed. I understand you want to get... Oh, really? Something minor, but yes, it, they are permanent. There's no trading them out once you've chosen them. Sorry. Okay, so I'll be adding a cantrip. Uh, yes, precisely. <clears throat> Alright, so I will move us to the new map. Okay, and... Where are we? Ah, here we are. Oh, no. Yes, indeed. The area we find ourselves in has uh, bodies of water with streams connecting them here and there, uh, rocks, deep, thick grass and difficult terrain, brush, and tall, scraggly trees. The brush mm. and the trees both have familiar-looking vines draping them. Uh, but there are none on the rocks. It's rather clear that this can be a potentially problematic area for certain elves and the company. Uh, 
Um, anyone who wants to can give a survival check to Is see if they can find... Is it at disadvantage because of the rain? Uh, there's no rain. There's just the wind. Uh, it's a strong wind. There's no disadvantage with survival checks, only if you're trying to listen. Okay, so the rain stopped. <clears throat> yes. So there yeah, was there's no rain just a the southwest wind or something. Oh, okay, gotcha. Correct. Yes, indeed. Uh, Varen gets a... Somehow my map went completely small and then completely off map. That's interesting. Uh, so Varen gets a 29. Thea, you get a 25. Well done. Uh, yes, I will try. Uh, I mean, I get, Varen uh, gets a 22. Can I do a nature check? My name is further. And you may not. You can give me a survival check. Nature would be if you're trying to recall information okay. about the animals, not if you're trying to find them. <clears throat> Fourteen. Not quite good enough. Oh, wait, anyway, it is good enough. Um, yes, you are able to find a trail leading to the north. Well, Varen finds a trail leading to the west. Okay. I will go northward. Uh, Thea, which way do you want to go? <clears throat> I just fixed the, t the light settings. Gotcha. Hey, Varen. You're going mm -hmm. to have to take heed. There's also water and st stone nearby. Uh, why um, is that important? Uh, you're still cursed? You're still cursed. Right. Curses. They're, they're bad. <laughs> Not good. It's, it's not a good thing. Right, right. All right. So Varen is going to head out uh, following the Western Trail. And Adrian, you're going to head northward, it seems. Thea, which way are you and going? Which way were the trails again? There is a trail heading to the north that Adrian's following, and a trail heading to the west that Varen is following. Oh, decisions. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to roll. Uh, even she goes with Adrian, odd she'll go with Baron. Alright, roll it. That's an even. Oh, whoops. No. Nah. She can dash as a bonus. True. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so at this point, I'm going to have us each roll for initiative. We're not entering combat. This is just to help us keep okay, track okay. of who goes when. Thank you, Thea. Roll Excellent roll, sir. <clears throat> Very nice oh, indeed. Thank you. All right. Actually, I think that that makes sense because I think that's the way uh, the order of things happened. <laughs> Fair enough. Adrian, it is your turn. What would you like to do, sir? The trail leads to the north, past the hill, 
to an area where you see more water to the northwest, um, rocks to the east, brush and trees to the east. Uh, as Thea comes slipping and sliding up behind you, you can give me another survival check, sir. Right. Yes, that is where the trail gets through shoot. Right there, and survival check. Yes, sir. Probably not going to be a good one. But... Well, let's see what it is. That is not a good one. So you get to this point, and you're just looking around, and it seems like the trail might have gone cold moments after it started. Uh, Varen's turn. Varen's going to move further up following the trail, and he's going to look around. Okay, did leave it on advantage, good. And make a survival check. Getting a 30. That, I would say, is enough. Uh, use my, act uh, my action and my movement. Thea, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Thank you for the survival. The trail comes almost, almost naturally to you. It seems to be heading not that way but north past the body of water there, between it and the tree. Nope, oh, wrong tool. <laughs> this way. Okay, so she'll go ahead and continue on because I mean, she's not doing anything. She might as well be... She'll uh, she'll tap Adrian on the sh shoulder as she goes past him and is like, this way. <laughs> Adrian, you're left feeling a little flat-footed and confounded that she yeah, just no waltzed right I'm up going. and found the trail you had lost. Uh, with that, we move to your turn, All sir. Right. Do I have to roll for a um, survival check? That's only if you want to try and track down I think the I'll beast. Call lead. Fair call. She seems to be, know what she's doing. Uh, did you want to use your action for anything else? Like maybe search the area or prepare to dodge or. I will do the perception. Alright. Perception check, please, sir. Nice. Uh, 21. Nice roll. Um. Yep. But at the moment, you don't really see anyone approaching, and you don't hear anything either. Um, I never specified. Do you think you would want the deer to or er, sheep taken alive or dead? Alright, Baron's are going to give a survival check. Another 30. Alright then. Goodness. Following the trail with almost lofty ease. Straight up to the top of the hill here. Now, while it has rained, it has not rained uh, recently. Uh, so the boulders themselves are fairly dry, the water having seeped deeper into the earth or gathered into streams or shallow pools in the area rather than remaining with the rocks. Um, and, oh, looky there. Varen sets eyes on a sheep grazing in the grass, not terribly far away. Uh, so that was my action and then my movement. Thea, it is now your turn. I uh, shall continue forward. Excellent. Slipping and stumbling slightly in the mud. The trail leads you to the north, near to the base of the hill, but not okay. quite all the way so there. Next turn. 
Six, yes, six, next turn. 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50, 60. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you. The trail seems to be curving around the body of water towards the west. Uh, uh, in that direction. I guess I'll point that direction so that in case Adrian catches up, he knows where to go next. <laughs> in case. All right. Top of the order. Jeez, uh, I think I will go and follow what would in that do? direction. Very good. Uh, no, I go around it. Oh, you don't want to go in it? Did you have a, a certain uh, idea of something? No, no, no. I would never do that. Well, uh, my action I'm going to use to dash so then I can get a little further out there. Fair enough. And that's my action. Excellent. Your action and your movement. In which case, Varen... Hmm... How does Varen want to handle this? Uh, oh, I left it on advantage. Uh, sir, would you say that 10 is enough to for Varen to guess what your intentions were for the sheep? Whether you wanted them dead or alive? Hmm. I would say no. Very good. So, without knowing exactly what Adrian wanted, how far away? Uh, too far for the sling stone. I don't want to use my arrows and longbow on something so small. So, instead of doing something specific, I'm going to try sneaking up on this sheep. And with a 15, yes, I pass that. So I'm going to move my full speed. That was my action and my movement. Thea, where are you? There you are. It is now your turn. Well, that's fair. And 90, and she'll point uh, to between the bush and the hill. Or rather, she'll be like, it's between the, it's, it's on the other side of the bush over here. Yeah. Right, because you can't see the other side of the hill. All right. Wow, nice oh survival God. check. Just like it's very obvious. They must have left like really clear uh, prints. Uh, yes, very clear prints in the deep, soft, wet mud. Um, there's some bits of animal fur trapped on the thorns of the vine. Um, Things like that. There's also some animal dropping. Obvious yes, signs. quite something like that. Very obvious, painfully obvious. All right. Well, uh, Adrian, it's your turn, sir. Forward. And then, uh, just to catch up with Thea, I'm going to dash, and that will end my turn. Excellent. A fifteen, I want to say. Uh, Sir, what is your 14. passive perception? 14. All right. Thank yeah. you, sir. All right. So Varen is going to sneak the rest of the way up to this deer. Uh, and then what do I want to do? Hmm. Uh, 
or try to lullaby it to sleep. Well, I was going to do animal handling, but instead I think I will simply knock it out with my short sword, but there's something wrong with it. Hold on, everyone, please. Uh, ah, here's the problem. So I will pull out my short sword, and attacking with advantage, I get Lava 28 head. to hit and deal mm -hmm. 7 points of damage. Except since I'm using a melee weapon, I don't cut off its head. I don't mortally wound it. <laughs> As it drops completely unconscious. Well, since Varen killed this sheep with a single shot or swing, Varen will heft it onto his shoulders, grunting as he takes the full weight, and will start heading uh, this way. But I can only go so far because now I'm carrying someone else. Thea, it is your turn. Uh, okay, continue moving. Okay. She doesn't want to get too close to the bush, so she'll go up on the hill. Well, I can't imagine why ever you'd be concerned about some little vines. Um, when she gets here, does she need to make another investigation, or does she know where it's going? Hmm. Perception and disadvantage. Uh, please give me a perception check with disadvantage because of the wind. Uh, you're not sure where anything is at the moment. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, so she'll just go ahead and use her dash to get to the other side of the hill. Excellent. And I think that makes it so she can get to about there. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, I see it. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, she'll do that. Which way is the wind blowing? Uh, the wind is blowing to the southwest. So say I'll you make found an arrow it. for you. Oh, so not the this direction way. she's thinking. I was thinking. Um, Wait, yeah, I was going to oh, say no, that's no, not no, these. I, mean, um, I got a little okay, confused. Okay, so she'll, she'll say... Found it. Cut. Okay. Mm. Good stuff. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, sorry about that. Um, I okay. am going to move up here. I'm trying to stay away from the stupid bush. So I'm just <laughs> going to be wandering right down by the, let's see, that's 10, 20, 30. Uh, right along the hillside, and I'm just going to. All right, give oh, me a dexterity saving throw, please, sir. Well, let's see the throw, and that'll determine whether or not you touched it or not. There we go. 
<laughs> you did not touch it. Told you. And then I'm just going to use a dash to go around the hill. Alrighty. No. Alright, so can weird. my characters see your characters? No. Uh, Baron's just going to move as far as he can while carrying a creature. And then Thea. I'm going to say just you? slightly under my breath, Thea found a little lamb, little lamb. Thea found a little lamb. Now I don't know where to go. <laughs> All right, so it is now Varen's turn. And that is as far as I can go while carrying another creature. Uh, okay. So See ya, your turn. This is to not roll her eyes. I think she <laughs> makes it. She does. Now there is a deer within your line of sight. Well, uh, so she'll move. If you can tolerate me. <laughs> uh, she'll move over just a little bit and uh, pull out her bow. <laughs> but she's still staring at the sheep. True. And I do believe that puts my attack at normal because of the wind. Correct. So, Thea, please give me an attack roll at normal, please. Uh, you won't be able to knock it unconscious with a ranged weapon. She doesn't know if he wants it dead or not. I assume he would have said something when I pulled the bow out. Agent, did you say anything? You're not going to kill it, are you? Because, I mean, if you're going to kill it, then we're most likely going to have to eat it. Is that a bad thing? Well, I am getting a little hungry. Uh, okay. I can can trip it. <laughs> can't trip it. <laughs> okay. I'll take the shot. All right. Uh, 19 will definitely hit for another 7 points of damage, killing the sheep outright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good thing I didn't get sneak attack on that. I imagine it would have just exploded. But we're also Possibly. trying to save the wool. It, it, yes, indeed. I'm pretty sure there's some Undyed. parts of it that aren't bloodstained. And it, might, and it might be an unwritten wool. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Oh. I'm going to take away your inspiration point for that one. Hey! No. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Um, no, I think she's she's fine. Very good. Anything else for you, Thea? Excellent. All right. With that, we move to top of the round. Adrian, I'm gonna go. Try, I mean, um, I'm gonna keep moving forward. Okay. So. You did see the direction Thea shot in. There, I believe that's... 
I'm gonna go through the water. Oh, you don't want to go through and the brush? I believe that's my dash marker, so I'm good. Okay. Hey, you did get it. <laughs> As the sheep comes into your view. Uh, for Baron, he's simply going to use his action to dash, since he's carrying a big heavy deer. And that reduces his speed, so in order to go as fast as he wants, he has to dash. Man, he feels so slow. Alright, Thea, it's your turn. How deep does the uh, does the water in front of her look? Uh, it's a varying height. Uh, the streams are only a few inches uh, deep um, at any given time. Uh, the bodies of water are likely more closer to your kneecaps or your thighs in depth. And it's not even, it's rather sporadic and random. Okay, so sh she'll just walk through. Okay. She's not in a hurry, so she won't even dash. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, isn't that the one that I shot? Uh, no, the one you shot is over in the east, not the north. Oh, okay. I don't think I saw Wherever that on the map, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Row, row, right, row myself run. gently to the shore. <laughs> As Adrian swims gamely on. Or rather That's waves That's what I gamely thought, on. so I'm just going to keep on shifting through the shore. Now this looks like the only area that's clear of the deadly vine. Okay. Excellent move, sir. Yep. So now it's a little cold. <laughs> but I can handle yes, it. The water is quite cold. As it seeps in through your armor. Varen is going to continue to dash to gain the top of this hill. From which he can look out and see let's see. Uh he can see Thea. Uh, Varen starts waving his hands, uh, jumping up and down, getting your attention, Thea. Uh, while you cannot hear Varen, you can at least see his wild gesticulations and and his hands beckoning you to come quicker. Adrian, how much do you need? How much wool do you need? Because I see another sheep, and it looks like Varen has a sheep. Well, I think what we have right now is enough. Okay. So leave the other one alone? Yeah. Okay, Duck. Yeah, uh, please bring back my arrow. I'll, I'll wave to Varen. Will do. Okay. And I guess I'll head towards him. He's over here, right? Okay. Yes. Yes, he is. Hello. Hi, Thea. Where's Adrian? Uh, after the other trail. Oh, right, right, right. I think there we're having sheep tonight trail. to eat. Or tomorrow morning. Uh, how are we going to... But how are we going to cook it? Yep. Hmm. Hopefully he does better this time. Uh, Adrian, it is your turn, sir. All right. Uh, actually, at this point, I think we'll just go ahead and exit initiative. Um, 
we can just hand wave at this point that Adrian, you bring back the body of the deer no. and see that I, uh, my deer is unconscious. Yeah, why'd you keep it alive? Well, I didn't know what you wanted. I didn't even know how oh, well, deer you wanted. Yeah, well, I was going to say, we could always yeah, just can... take it with us uh, for for meat later. Have it as emergency rations. Alright, just so long as we don't name it. <laughs> we give it a name, we can't kill it now. Uh, Varen rolls his eyes and with a very professional demeanor uh, is going to simply slit the unconscious sure. animal's throat. Um, saying, I don't think well, we need more following points. us around. Yes, indeed. Only had three hit points. I'm not going to bother rolling to attack or to hit. The, uh, here's your arrow. Thank you. Uh... Oh, okay. Adrian, please give me... Uh, it's uh, back. a bag. What is that zipping noise? Uh, I was pulling the rest of my yarn out of it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, no, that that's how I retrieve arrows, is I unzip it. <laughs> <laughs> Baron is going to go ahead and cast on detection. Agent, please give a dexterity check, not a dexterity saving throw. Uh, the green square is going to represent the area of my non-detection spell. No. no. Well, you tried. I don't know. I should have done sleight of hand. <laughs> I called you, told you me to do a dexterity check. No, I said dexterity check, oh. not dexterity saving throw. Oh, too bad. Can I try that again? No, you're fine. Um, uh, give me a sleight of hand check, but with oh, disadvantage. Oh, come on. As the arrow has caught slightly in the sheet. And 25, that's good. You pull it in the air out smoothly, oh, yeah. dragging some entrails right, and bone shards with it. Or something. Yeah, uh, or something. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have enough All right. diamond dust? Do you have enough diamond dust? Uh, I have, uh, let me see, I have 15 ah, pinches left. Well, fortunately, oh, yeah, I know where to at. go to find it. Remember the oh, area with the uh, giant yeah. lizard and the plants that were trying to That's eat right. us, and the big old rock that, that fell out of space? That spot. I feel fairly confident we can get there again. Yes. All right. Let me check something real quick. Uh, well, I'm not tracking them. But I am recalling information, so I did mm -hmm. do that with advantage. Uh, nature. Ah, good thing I had advantage. Uh, with that, Varen's able to discern fairly easily how to skin and prep the sheep for cooking. And within uh, only a few moments of him starting, the sheep have been have had their fur coats removed, uh, drying nearby, and they look ready for butchery. Uh, Adrian, are you going to get in the area of protection? On a firebolt? Uh, you could try cooking it with a firebolt. Medicine or nature? Uh, please give me 
nature check. 13 is enough. You're able to cook the meat quite thoroughly, but leave juice enough to be tender. And you can attempt to cook it. Uh, Varen is going to look for some seasonings. Uh, with a 17, yeah, 17 is enough. Varen does find some extra wild seasonings to add to the meat as you prepare to flash cook mm. it. Thank you. Of course. Yes. Are you going to cook all the food? Uh, that's enough. Hey, it's always good to stay and try. Until you get bit. Nice. Good job. Thank you. And... <laughs> Okay, getting rid of those because we don't need them anymore. Uh, I'm gonna get there. I just couldn't remember how to spell mutton. M U T T O N. Awesome. You're welcome. That's exactly what I got. Eight pounds of roasted mutton, succulent, juicy, and uh, tender. I want to take my armor off before I eat. Okay, that's going to be five minutes to take off your armor, uh, but you're, we're able to have that as Varen or Thea uh, jump in and help you take off all the various components and undo the latches and buckles and myriad of fasteners. And we settle in for what's actually a very pleasant meal of magically roasted chicken. When we hear the uh, you receive a tingling sensation from your sword of your weapon of warning, just as Varen stands up, looks around, and announces, "Trouble's coming." Oh, that's not good. Hmm. What? Did you get Something's a? coming. And let me see here. There is a wild clacking, chattering noise and a splash of water as something no, comes no. rushing into the stream. And Adrian, you are currently not wearing your armor. No. And I don't believe you have your shield in hand while you're eating your dinner. Nuts. And it takes 10 minutes to put it back on. Hey, during the 10 minutes, can I put my armor on? <laughs> uh, At this point, we're going to take a short break. Real life and, and game we'll life, back. not the same. Nice try. <laughs> Good try. And we are back, ready to get into it and deal with the problem. All right. And we can all roll for initiative. Good rolls. Oh, except for me. I would like to pick up my shield and um, 
also summon my sword. Penguin nonetheless. All right, that's nope. your action to grab your shield and your <coughs> bonus action to summon Sanguine nonetheless, I presume. Uh, well, All I'm right. not exactly sure uh, where did the... Did you want to move uh, anywhere, sir? Where the um, threat is coming Excuse from. you. All right, in that case... I don't want to move anywhere right now. That's fair. Alrighty then. In which case, Thea, it is now your turn. Or not. There is a skittering, rushing crash through the water as a giant scorpion comes rushing into view following the scent of the cooked mut of the excuse me, roast mutton. Well, don't we feel like it's just Clash of the Titans or something? <laughs> I, every time I bring up a giant scorpion, I actually think of that movie. <laughs> And it's going to use its action to dash up the hill. I know it's not all the way on the hill, but we'll just count it as basically being on the edge of the hill. Um, and that was its full action. All right, and then... <laughs> a rather familiar looking figure comes rushing up over the hill with a dash. Closing in on Varen. Okie doke. Adrian, you're well, fairly familiar with this fellow. Well, Boulder Dash. Um, or at least it's kind. Goodness, you sound excited. Thea, it is your turn. She'll use <laughs> her bonus to disengage. And she will move, and she will use her action to hide. Okay. And she'll move a little bit more. And I do believe that's her turn. Alright, stealth check. Nice stealth check. Excellent. You are now hidden. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, then. That was your action, your movement, your bonus. Excellent. You are fairly well hidden, you feel. Indeed. Pardon. Pardon. I had to look up what uh, the giant scorpion can do. Uh, it is, despite not being able to see you, Thea, it does actually move and follow your direction. Almost as though it can see you without seeing you. Okay. Okay, Doc.
2. Next up. There is a rattling, crunching noise as a big mass of skeletons moves a skeleton moves up toward our hill, taking its action to dash through the difficult terrain. Its large horned head looks fairly familiar, Adrian, to that of a minotaur, but sans <laughs> entire flesh. Sans all flesh. Well, that's interesting. A bell rock? As it reaches the base of the hill and tosses its head as though like a bull snorting about to charge, though you hear no sound of air nor lungs, for it has none. For it has neither. No, not a bell rock or a bell rock. A massive hulk of an ogre, oh, its body girl. rotting and tearing open in places, lumbers up clumsily over the hill. An ogre zombie. Head straight towards you, Adrian. <laughs> oh, indeed. And I just happen to not be wearing my armor. There's another scuttling, rattling, chitinous noise as another giant scorpion comes dashing through the river, heading towards the base of the hill. I wish I kept my armor on. Yeah, funny how that works there, Adrian. Not having armor when all this suddenly happens. No, but I wish I Most unfortunate my armor timing. On. Oh, come on. <laughs> there is another bellowing roar airless, dry, and rotten as something comes across the river to the west. Thea, as it looks upon you, you recall buried within your mind sh as, you sh as though you shunned it from shunned f sh as though you shrank from the memory even during your dreams, but now it breaks upon you in full force of memory, though the body of this zombie is unfamiliar. Within its eyes burn the soul and the hate-filled glare of a hobgoblin caster who, upon you striking him down, used his death to purchase a curse against all of us. I had a feeling. And his eyes are locked upon you with absolute hate burning in within. Next time. You're just like, get over it, you're dead. <laughs> he seems not to care about that. With another bellowing, shuddering, rot filled, airless roar, another uh, we better all be fast and quick on our toes. View. It's step misshapen with a twisted ankle.
Uh, I'm working on it, says Varen, as he summons up his magic. And he's going to cast... Let me see. Uh, Long Strider. What? Yeah, but at second level, putting it on himself oh, and sure. you, Adrian. Um, can you check and see actually if you can adjust your own speed? Can you check and see if you can adjust your own speed? No. Thank you. is going to trigger an attack of opportunity as he gets up and runs down the hill through the grass. Uh, that's a miss. Thank you, Saber. Varen mutters as he slips into the wind and sneers back at the troll with supreme and perhaps oh, arrogant no. confidence. And at that moment, something comes swarming up through the soil yeah. about Varen's feet. Uh, but they do not bite me through my armor. Thank goodness. As a swarm of centipedes goes on the rampage against me. Oh... Uh... And then, Adrian, yeah, about and your no. feet, you feel thousands or hundreds of tiny little feet shit. swarming up your legs. Well, let's see. I did grab my also shield attack. on my round, and I. And I get a 22 to hit. Equipped here. So if I did equip <laughs> my shield, I'd be at a 19. Ten piercing damage, you said? That would just take up uh, all my temporary hit points. I'll just let it take all points. Ten piercing, yes. A temporary hit. Your temporary 